Hey guys, it's Brian McGuckin here. Uh, recently I showed a picture that I took of my lovely daughter and I had a lot of people ask about how I got the shot. So I wanted to spend a couple minutes just kind of showing you the setup because it was something really quick, really easy to do and not necessarily in the prettiest of settings. So this is my lovely daughter back here and she had this idea where she wanted to take some flower uh, color it, put it in her hair, and then whip her head around and have the colored flower fly all over, which was a great idea and lots of fun. But I said, well, let's just start with the flower just white first and try some different things. So we did a handful of uh, different types of shots where she had flower in her hands and clapped them together and it just gave us the idea of what if she were to take it and to just kind of throw it backwards over her head, which may sound kind of weird, but hopefully by now, if you've seen the image, you kind of know the final results. So I just wanted to share with you the setup. First, we're just here in my alley. There's nothing fancy about this at all. You can see I've got a speed box right here with a young Nuo flash that's on it. Uh, back there, I have another uh, young Nuo as well that's on a stand. And then kind of hidden right back there behind the trash and recyclables is another one. And I've got um, a mag mod uh, with a, a diffuser that I had on it, but I switched that out and I have the grid on there. And the purpose for that, I didn't want any light behind her really to, um, to spread out. I just wanted it to focus on the flower that she was throwing. So it was kind of giving that backlight that you need when you're lighting up smoke or flower or, uh, or snowflakes as well. And then I was using this light here with the speed box as a way to um, just kind of add some light in front of her so that way we could still see her and that's the one thing we've done differently if you see the picture she's facing this way and so the light from the front uh, creates a shadow on her face I would have switched it over to this side but uh, it wasn't something I really thought about at the time it was cold out and it was late so I was happy though with the results so I want to show you really quick just kind of how we did the actual shot I have a, a Canon 5D Mark IV uh, the lens I used was my 70 to, or my 24 to 70, a 2.8. I do have a Young Nuo a trigger on here that will trigger the three lights to go off. I, I don't remember honestly what the settings were on the flash at the time, because this was a couple of days ago when we shot it. But my ISO was 500, my shutter speed was uh, 120, 1 125th of a second, and I shot it at 8.0 for the aperture. So the way we did it was my daughter was uh, set up over there and you can still see there's some leftover uh, flower on the ground from this whole uh, adventure that we did. And what we did is we took a, a bag of flour, I took it over to her and she scooped her hands in there and she faced uh, to the direction and she bent over and she grabbed the flower. And what we did was uh, actually my wife jumped in for this part and helped. I had her take her phone and she turned it on by my daughter so that way I could lock my focus because it was pitch black out and I was able to lock my focus on the distance where my daughter was at the time. And then my wife ran off to the side and just cracked up and laughed the whole time that we did this because uh, you know what teenager throws flour in the winter in the alley, it looks a little bit odd. So uh, it took us three takes, the first time we did it my daughter uh, threw it and I didn't really care for the arch. It was kind of like straight back. So I said, well, let's try it where you're kind of throwing it down more. And so when she did, it actually went straight down to the, to the uh, pavement. So I said, well, let's get a little bit more of an angle to it. So we, she threw it up at an angle. And so what we did is I counted to three and then on three, she threw it and we took the picture. So this is kind of what it looks like if you would have been here, uh, minus my wife running in with her phone. So. She had the flowers in her hand. She was bent over. I was down low, uh, zoomed in with my 24 to 70. I was at 70 millimeters at the time. And so we counted to three and went one, two, three, and snapped off a couple pictures. Uh, we did it a second time and then the third time again. One, two, three, and that was about it. So you can see it was a pretty simple setup for it. Um, Straight out of camera, everything was pretty dark because it was uh, nighttime, obviously. So I didn't have to do a whole lot of editing to it. It was with my aperture at f8 and uh, an ISO 500. Uh, the lighting was pretty good. Uh, the trash cans were right there, and you don't see them in the photo. Uh, obviously, I had them off to the edge. But 
my, uh, my purpose in showing you this video was just to show you just how simple it can be to just use, uh, use the, the area you have around you. I often say just do the best you can with what you have and I think we did a great job on it with the photo. Again, you can see the, the remnants of the flower on the ground and then we added some color and tried the hair twirl as well, which I'll uh, show you one of those in, this, uh, in, in the video here in a second also. But um, yeah, so that was about it. Really simple to do. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.